I'm Patrick, Technical Advisor for Showy Helmets, and today we'll be showing you how to determine a proper helmet fit. No helmet can protect the wearer against all foreseeable impacts. However, for maximum protection, the helmet must be a proper fit and the retention system must be securely fastened to help prevent the helmet from coming off in an impact. Proper fit also helps to reduce noise levels and ensure a comfortable, distraction-free riding experience. The first step in determining a proper helmet fit is to measure your head. Pass the tape measure horizontally around your head about one inch above your eyebrow to get the largest measurement possible. Once you have your head measurement, in this case 22 and a half inches, you can cross-reference our sizing chart available on our website to find out roughly about what size you are. According to our sizing chart, 22 and a half inches is a medium, so that's where we'll be starting today. The next step in the fitting process is to try on the sizing chart's recommended size. Firmly grasp the chin straps and expand the opening of the helmet with your hands. Make sure that you grab the chin straps and not the chin strap covers as pulling on the covers can cause them to tear. Now slide your head into the helmet in a front to back motion rather than straight down. It takes a bit of effort to get the medium sized helmet on as a proper fitting helmet can be a bit on the snug side. If you try on a helmet that's on the large side, you'll likely find that the helmet slides onto your head too easily. On the other hand, if the helmet you're trying on is too small, it will be extremely difficult to get on your head and will likely cause immediate pressure points. Pay attention to the center pad at the top of your helmet. Does it press closely to the top of your head? You'll also need to check for snugness along the sides of your head, your forehead, and the back of your head. Let's first check to make sure that there is no space between your forehead and the liner of the helmet. When wearing the correct size helmet, in this case a medium, you should not be able to slide your fingers between the helmet and your forehead. The next step is to put a hand on each side of the helmet and without moving your head, move the helmet up and down and side to side. With the correct size helmet, there is little movement as the helmet fits securely on your head. You should feel the skin on the top of your head and your face being pulled as you move the helmet. If the helmet is too big, it will move independently from your head more easily. The next step is to fasten the chin strap as tightly as you can without causing any pain. There should be no slack in the strap and it must be tight up against your chin. With the chin strap fastened, put your hands on the back of the helmet and try to push the helmet off by rotating it forward. Now put your hands on the front of the helmet and try to push the helmet off by rotating it rearwards. With the correct size helmet, there should be little movement and the helmet will stay securely in place. With a larger size helmet, there is more movement indicating that the helmet is too big. After following these steps, you should know what size helmet is a proper fit for the crown of your head. However, you may still need to adjust the cheek pads in order to fine tune the overall fit. Pay close attention to the cheek pads. Are they a snug fit? If you open and close your mouth, you should bite down on your cheeks slightly. Proper fitting cheek pads help to reduce noise levels and buffeting, so it is important to ensure a snug fit. All of our current three-quarter full face and modular helmets come with removable cheek pads that are available in a variety of sizes. They can be switched out to customize the fit of your new Showy. There's a sticker on the back side of the cheek pad that tells you its size. This number is a reference to the thickness of the cheek pad in millimeters. The smaller the number, the thinner the pad. Thinner pads can be used to loosen the fit. The larger the number, the thicker the pad. Thicker pads can be used to make the helmet fit more snugly. It is important to remember that the helmet padding will break in after approximately 25 hours of riding. Proper fit is not only important for comfort, but safety as well. We hope this tech tip was helpful. Thank you for riding with Showy.